Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kay. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you're having a good day and that you are well. So I just want to start off by saying thank you so much to all the people who have been watching my videos, leaving comments, liking and subscribing. Um, I really, really appreciate it and it really encourages me to keep making videos. So thanks so much for that. So in this video, I want to continue with um, the embellishments I use in my colouring books. So um, I've done pens, glitter, markers, metallic pencils, and now paints. So um, I'm gonna go over mainly the, these are the paints that I have. Let's just show you sort of listed them so I have the Colero pearl colors the Gansai Tambi not all of them but some um, the Paul Rubens 24 set um, a couple from KJ designs which um, is from a shop on Etsy um, I got a couple from um, I think she's called Rebecca but I'm not sure so please forgive me if I've got that wrong but her channel is called The Art Spirits and I bought a couple from there um, and then any other paints that I've bought so these are the watercolours and then I've got a few acrylic um, paints which I use as embellishments so Glamour Dust, um, Galaxy Glitter and Metallic so that's what I intended to do in this video just show you them and then maybe if I get a chance to uh, also demo them and sort of insert the clips into this video. So, just put that to the side. Right, so if you start with the Colero paints, and I keep them in this little basket here. Might as well take that off the table, right? And so the few sets I have of these, these are really, really good watercolour paints. They are quite pricey. You can buy them um, on Amazon. You can also buy them from Jackson's Art Online. And the best thing about the Jackson's Art Online is that you can get the individual, um, the individual palettes or whatever you call these wells, the individual wells of each paint colour that you want. So they do come in sets, these are sets, so this one here is called Candy um, and these are the individual colours, so um, I just made these with my label printer. So we have Stardust, Arabic Gold, Golden Orange, Pink, Apple Green, Peacock Blue. So that's the Candy one and you get this little, if I can pick it up. Um, this little um, colour sort of card thing with it as well. So some nice colours, I really like the Arabic gold. Um, and then this was actually the first one that I bought, this one I bought off Amazon. The wells for these are slightly smaller. And um, the blue, the pearl colours are really nice. They show up better on black paper and I'll show you some swatches of all these as well so you get an idea um, so the green pearl the blue pearl anything with the pearl word after it is gives you a sort of a shimmer on white paper and shows up better on on black paper so I'll show you that after I've just shown you these paints quickly if there is only one one uh, set that you can buy, I would definitely suggest buying the gold and silver one, which is this one here, because gold and silver will go with any picture really, and it'll be nice to add an embellishment. So if you if you want to start off with these paints, then I would definitely go for the gold and silver because they'll give you you know the versatile, so they'll give you a bit more um, um, opportunity to add to your pages as you slowly build your collection. Uh, then we have the this these are these are brilliant these are the magical creatures ones and they are just so beautiful that's the um, that's the color card that you get with it so we have sphinx unicorn mermaid fairy medusa and dragon and those are the paints don't think I labeled those. <laughs> Um, 
there. I really, really like the, um, I think there was the dragon, but actually I, I like them all. These are probably my favourite ones in the Calero range. And then I also have the Galaxy set. So you'll see the names there, Sunbeam, Supernova, Deep Space, Dark Star, Meteor and Moonlight. So these will be excellent to do a galaxy background with. And again, you get your little um, card in there with it. Uh, just put that away. And then finally, this is the one that I got from Jack Jackson's Art. So I, I um, ordered the, the container from Jackson's Art as well. It comes in a six and a 12, so I decided I'll get the 12. And then um, if I can open it. And then I bought all of these individual colors. So I chose all of these individual colors. And that's the great thing. So if, if, you, if you only want a few specific colors, Jackson's Art is the place to go where you can actually choose the colors that you want. Um, if it's not in a, you know, if it's not in a, set that's already made up um then that's you know that's an option as well so that's a custom made palette so i'll show you some of the swatches for that just put that over here so in this book um which i recently started i put my wet media sw swatches in here so you'll see that these are the Calero ones. I'll bring that up to the camera so you can see. So this is the small set that I showed you. That's this one. This one here is the are these colours. So these down here and these here are the colours you get in the 12 set with the smaller pans. Uh, and then the next one is the gold and silver Calero set which is a versatile set to have. Um, in fact, that was probably the second set that I got after the 12 set. So you can see the different golds and then the silver as well. So that was the gold and silver. And then the Candy Calero set is the ones down, or are the ones down here, sorry. So these four here, and these two, the apple, apple green and the peacock. So I'll just show you the candy set again. So that's the candy one. And then we have the Galaxy Calero set, which is this. Maybe have them the correct way. So that's the colors there. And then we have the Magical Creatures, which I said was one of my, well, probably me, my favourite Calero set. You've got the Sphinx, you've got the Unicorn, um, Mermaid, Fairy, Medusa, and Dragon. Really like the Dragon one. So that's that one. That was probably my most expensive set apart from the custom one of course and then the Calero custom that I've got which are the ones that I chose I've got bronze Indian summer lagoon deep purple lavender midnight blue and then these six here on the other side so Fiji mint <coughs> excuse me copper pearl blue pearl which is the one I said it looks you know looks quite light here you can see it in certain light but quite light on white paper but on black paper you can see it properly then rose gold and the black pearl as well okay so that's on the white paper on black paper i haven't swatched all of them unfortunately but i have got some of them so i've got the gold and silver set there And these are the, I think that's, yeah, that's the small 12, 
set small pan 12 set on black paper so you can see the if I can find it that is um, maybe not yes yeah, so that silver pearl shows up better on black paper blue pearl shows up very blue on black paper whereas it was um, much more transparent with a tinge on white paper um, and are there any more uh, yeah the Clearo candy set and the galaxy set on black paper okay I think that's it yeah I think that's it for those so those were my Clearo paints that I currently have I do really like them I use them a lot so they are worth it okay so next um, my Ganzai Tambi paints so again I have another container and sorry yeah. about that I thought um, my phone was not recording but it is so the Ganzai Tambi paints um, that I have just going to remove that out the way and I've only got two sets I have the pearl colours and the gem colours and these are the only two sets I know they come in a, um, a gold gold palette as well a gold variety but I haven't got that one um, so these are cheaper than the um, than the Colibro paints you don't need to put water on them and wait for a while for them to dissolve the pigment into the water so it thickens up with these you can pretty much just use them straight away um, so these are cheaper and well worth it they they are really really nice so this one here is the the pearl colors and this one here is the gem colors um, and I, I like the gem colors better and if I quickly show you a swatch of them in my little book here so that there are those there sorry are the gem colours so we've got nice red gold I really like the gold blue and um, gem pink gem green and gem violet and then underneath it we have the Ganzai Tambi pearl colours so we've got this beautiful pearl pink we've got this pearl scarlet red this lovely lemon yellow pearl may green pearl cobalt blue and white gold so really really nice um, paints as well and you know you get quite a lot on them I've used the gem well, I've just noticed these are these fell out and they're not in the correct order so that is the um, yellow cold they're just in the wrong order so ignore that I, I, I was in a rush so I put them they must have fallen out a while back and then I never put them in the correct order okay so that's the Gansai Tambi which are well worth it um, for your metallic paints and um, they've good quality have I got them on a black paper let's see yes I have so that's the Ganzai Tambi gem colors on black paper so you got the red the pink the yellowy gold the gem green the blue and the violet I'll just check if I've got the pearl colors oh yes they're there and um, they didn't come out that well here they are they didn't really come out that well on black paper but the gem colors did so I think these are you can't really make the color out too well it's just a shine really um, I think the uh, gem colors on black paper were much better so those are they them should I say right and then I have next the Paul Rubens the Paul Rubens paints and this cost 50 pound I think it was 49.99 
on um, UK Amazon, which I bought these I think a year ago. You get this little pink cloth with it. Um, not that I use it for anything, but it's nice. And this lovely pink palette has got some lovely metallic paints in there. Metallic and glittery, I'd say, because some of them do appear um, glittery. So yeah, I have used these. I don't use them quite as much as I use the Calero paints. I don't know why, but I should do. And then this is the swatch that I actually did on um, on the little uh, paper insert that they had available for that. Really like the symphony purple there. But yeah, the the swatches. It's got a little bit of a subtle glitter as well as a metallic sheen. So those are the Paul Rubens metallic watercolour paints. You get 24 of them. Just put that away like that. And then um, I have some paints from Etsy, which I keep in this little cute container here. So I have these from the Art Spirits, and then this one and this one from KJ Designs by Karen. So they can both be found on Etsy. So the KJ Designs by Karen, I got the a few of the metallic paints, the colours I got are here, nice and bright and nice and metallic. So I didn't swatch these on black paper or haven't done it as yet. And then I got these glittery ones which are okay, um, you can see the swatch there. Um, yep, yeah. so that's a good look at them. And then the ones from the Art Spirits are these, which is this, these glittery ones. I haven't used these a great deal, I, I do need to use them. So they give you a subtle glitter, as you can see on the swatches there, you get a subtle glittery effect. And then I bought this one. Now these are really nice. I like these ones in particular, the metallic ones. So I just get there in camera so you can see it properly. Okay, um, so like I say, I did not swatch them on the black paper. I hadn't had a chance to do it yet. Remember, I didn't buy all these things in one go. Like This is over a long period of time. Okay, so those are the KJ Designs and the Art Spirits paints. And then, um, in the UK, there's a shop called The Range, and I saw these paints and I thought, should I get them? Are they going to be any good? Um, and they were only £1.99 each and you know I'm glad I did because they are really nice they they are really good I mean for £1.99 compared to say a set of Calero paints for £25 these match up well so if I show you the swatches I haven't swatched them on um, white paper so they buy Art Sensations so that's that's the this pack here this one with the gold that's the swatch you can see there's a gold pink a purple a blue and a green and a black and they are nice I mean for one pound 99 really you know they're really good and then we have this one which 
in the white champagne, light pink, lilac, rose gold and lime. So that's a swatch for those colours. So if you live in the UK and you have a range near you, you could um, get these because I think they are really worth it for £1.99. So those are those metallic paints. Right, so that concludes my metallic paints and the next thing to show you are my acrylic paints so I have these tube paints which I got a while back which are the metallic acrylic paints and there's they're by Montmartre I don't know if I've said that right and they they're really they're, they're nice um, I've used them a couple of times so you get 18 mils for of each colour and the colours that we have so we've got about how many eight we've got eight different shades I did swatch them and here they are so these are the acrylic paints so I often use the acrylic paints on say thinner paper and I don't dilute them with water um, because the water will make the pen really sorry the paper buckle a lot whereas if I just use the acrylic as it is undiluted um, and I'm careful then the paper is able to take it better than it would watercolour so that's the tube um, acrylic metallic paints um, the other ones that I do have are of course the deco art brand um, I really like the deco art brand so the ones that I have are right let's look we have of course well they're not these are not used for embellishments because they are just black and matte black and shiny black but I do have some metallics so we have the glorious gold and the ice blue and a copper i think i've got a shimmering silver an oyster pearl so the oyster pearl i really like really really nice sheen on your page so a few metallics and then i also have some of these which are the glamour dust the ultra fine ultra fine glitter paint so this one here is a black ice i've got silver bling sapphire blue gold glitz and ice crystal and they're all right um they they're okay but they're not as good as these these are galaxy glitter and they're just packed full of glitter so this one here is called bronze asteroid you will have seen these if you see my finished pages um, in kirby roseanne's books um, as the background so silver moon um, milky way blue clear ice comet which i like using with the um, metallic oyster pearl and then um, Big Bang and I'm going to show you the swatches of all of those as well so the swatches are here so you've got the gold metallic the ice blue metallic the shimmering silver um, and then copper and the oyster and then I have the the where is it the glamour dust which it's just a subtle shimmer you can see these are just subtle shimmer but the galaxy glitter you can see the actual glitter pieces in there so you can see the clear ice comment comet sorry and the big bang one and the silver moon and then i have the recent ones that i've just got which are the galaxy glitter bronze asteroid and milky way blue which i've used on a page as well in the Kirby Roseanne's book just recently. 
so um, those are my paints I hope you enjoyed watching this video um, I might add in a few little clips to show you how I use the paints just so you can see them while I'm using them with a paintbrush um, just because I thought it might be useful or helpful in any way and I'd just like to say uh, thanks for watching and see you next time I hope you have a wonderful day and um, yep see you next time bye everyone, I'm back again to demonstrate um, me using the Coluro paints and the Ganzai Tambi paints so I've added water a few drops of water to these three pans here the um, Colours Dragon let me just check sheet is inside here so the dragon the medusa and the fairy so the water will allow the pigments to dissolve into it so that the paint thickens up and you have to do that with all the color paints before you use them i've done the same with some of the gem colors in the gansai tambi but you don't really need to for that but i thought i might as well so if i bring you in closer and i'm going to work on this be here. So I just thought it'd be useful to show you so I'm going to use this gem blue. So you can see the paint's nicely thickened up and let's give it a blue head. Like so. goes down really really well and then I might add a bit of the yellow gold oops a bit too much there and the yellow gold is actually one of my favorites in the Ganzai Tambi gem color set so this is a cheaper option compared to the Coluro and they work just as well and they are really really nice so that's that um, maybe a little purple's dried a little bit actually I'm not no actually I don't think I have put water on that one so I might try this green getting enough water on it because it's quite a fine brush and I might just put in a bit of green on these leaves this video is going to be very long compared to my previous videos so I really hope I'm not boring you and I hope that it's it's useful Especially if you're new to the hobby, it's nice looking at all these new art supplies and things you could maybe buy. Okay, so that's the um, gem colours that you can see that I've done on this bee. So I'm going to leave that, put it to the side. And now we're going to use the uh, Coluro paints from the Magical Creatures set. So I'm going to go with the dragon. It's nicely thickened up the paint and well what can I do here um, let's see just a few of the wings maybe a few of the wing details but yeah these small brushes are essential these fine brushes fine point brushes are essential I think for using you know pictures in colouring books you can get into the little details and add, add your little embellishments as you wish so that's the dragon just cleaning my brush off off there um, that was the dragon and then the Medusa one I might actually do on these flowers So 
that's quite a nice colour, like a two-tone colour, it appears to me. And now I'm going to use the pink, or also known as fairy. We'll do that on this flower. So there we go. Okay, so that's just a little clip showing you how I use my Clearo with the fine brushes. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, back for the final time to demonstrate the use of the acrylic paints that I have for embellishments. So before that, I just thought I'd show you the um, result, the dried versions of these paints, which were the Clearo paints. So that was the fairy one, I think. As you can see, it looks really, really nice. And then that one was the dragon, this flower here. Um, now you can see that the black lines are faded and I'll show you how I deal with that in a second. Uh, also what we have is, just bear with me, um, I also have these, um, the Gansai Tambi paints here that are dried, so you can see them as well, that look really nice. But again you can see the black lines are faded, so all I do with that is I just use these Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens and these come in a variety of sizes so we have fine, extra small and small and all I do is go over the black lines and that's usually just like this, simple as that, just going over them. Like that. So you can see I've done this one here, going over the black lines. And I think um, I do that on all my pictures whenever I use the metallic paints. I just go over the black lines. It's quite therapeutic actually, quite relaxing. And it looks great afterwards. So that's one thing you can do. Uh, okay, so going, getting onto the acrylics, which is what I am here for. I just wanted to show you that I've gone over this bottle here with black acrylic and this one as well, and then blue metallic. So this was the blue metallic uh, paint that I went through with the deco art and this metallic paint which is the copper um, I don't know why but it it seemed to be even though I mixed it it seems to be quite watery so that was the blue metallic there that's just the black um, but the oops put my finger in it and um, I've got the copper there and yeah, it seemed a bit, a bit watery, so I went over it with two coats. So what I wanted to show you is the going over black, for example, or any other any other acrylic paint. Um, I suppose even watercolor with the Galaxy Glitter, which I've poured out a little bit here. There, don't want to put my finger in it again, and then the glamour dust which is here so that you can see what it looks like so if I use the glamour dust first and I put it over say this middle bit of this bottle I'm just going to go all over it you can just see it's a very very faint sort of a shimmery effect and you can see some of the glitter particles in there alternatively what you could do is get it and go over an acrylic paint 
so your normal acrylic paint underneath it and then this on top I think that would work better with this because this has got quite a washed out look um, so it's probably better to apply the glamour dust glitter on top of um, your normal acrylic paint so just show you that so that's just on top you've got this hopefully you can see it's a glittery effect and then on here it's just the paint itself um, now I will show you the galaxy glitter poured out a tiny drop there you can see so I'm going to use this again and I'm just going to add it to the center of this flower so you can see that it's just pretty much bits of coarse glitter so you can add it like that just to have a glittery effect but the way I usually use it is I use it on top of acrylic paint so say on top of black like this a bit too much there and just move your brush until you get the pieces of glitter where you want so like I say I've used um, the galaxy glitter I want to get some more of it because I really like it I've used it in on the background of um, a few of the pages in my Kirby Roseanne's books and it really works well and it looks really nice as well okay so I'm just doing this really quickly I'm not taking much care on it but that's it just wanted to give you a little look at using them so there you go I think the galaxy glitter looks really nice and rather than just applying it directly onto the page like this I I prefer to apply the galaxy glitter and the glamour dust onto um, dried acrylic paint um, okay so I hope that was slightly useful um, thanks for watching again and see you next time bye